exploring the different ways that we're going to be using the wash in the piece. And there's a couple different ways that we're going to be using washes. And first is just applying a general wash into a whole shape. And then the next one is using uh, what I call a wet on wet medium technique. And we'll get to that in a second. Um, but let's just take a look at the color palette here that I have set up. Now, I already have some colors mixed up. Spent a little time just looking to see what the content of the colors were here. And then I mix them up so they'd be all ready for me on my palette. Um, so just a general wash. All you really need to do is make sure that your brush is good and wet. Not too wet because you don't want to water down the washes um, and make them any thinner than you've mixed them to be. But make sure it's wet enough to activate the paint. And I'll just start with some blue over here. And this is a mixture including mostly just Prussian blue. It's a very dark wash. And by simply just applying the wash to the page, and you want to stay within the wash. You don't want to be outside of the wash and kind of extend into a pre-existing wet wash. What you want to do is always when you start with a wash, start in the center of the wash and expand outward from there. And you're going to get a really good and even wash. And the thing to remember when you're doing watercolors is to not make too many passes because the more passes that you make, you tend to layer marks and edges will build up and it actually adds a texture to the wash that you don't really want. And what we really want to achieve here is a smooth wash, right? So all you really need to do is just start, like I said, in the center and expand outwards. And whenever you want to add to the wash, if not enough pigment is on your brush and you need to add more pigment, just add more to your brush and then start again within the wash. And because it's already wet, that pigment will bleed into the pre-existing wash and you can continue to expand the wash outwards. When you're working with a wet on wet wash, what you want to do is pre-wet the surface of your paper. And what this is used for mostly is blending. So these washes that I just put down have very hard edges. And if I was to blend a color over top of them, they would also have hard edges, right? So to get a soft edge, and what I mean by a hard edge too is just how this edge doesn't have any softness around it. It comes to a sharp point, right? What I want to do is have that wash blend into the white of the paper so it has a soft gradated transition. And to do that, what I do is I'll wet the surface down. So it looks like the surface so far is pretty wet. I want to make it too wet. And just enough right size to not include only where I put the pigment, but where I want the pigment to extend to. So I'll grab the pigment again. And we'll just start over here on the left side. And just by putting one brush stroke in, what you can see is that it actually extends outward into the wet area. And we can continue to push this a little bit further if we want to. And if I add more water to my brush and rinse off all the pigment and then continue to add, I can actually drag that wash a little bit further. And if I make sure not to extend it to the edge of the wet surface, when this dries,